And then it is time for the main event. Hangman Page versus Lance Archer in a Texas death match. Dude. <laughs> this match was awesome. This match ruled. Start backstage, and it's Hangman starting. Because we've seen many, many times when Lance Archer jumps his opponent backstage, but Hangman is not a stupid baby face. So he takes the fight to Archer backstage first. They beat the hell out of each other. They used all sorts of gizmos. There's going through plexiglass up at the stage. There's uh, They're brawling the crowd. The top rope gets taken down, so Paige can't do the buckshot. Lambert's out there. I still don't know why Dan Lambert is in Archer's corner. The feud is over now, and I still don't understand that part of it, so that sucks. Uh, it was a little funny. So Texas death match in AEW, uh, it's a last man standing match, really. I think the whole thing with, Ar- with uh, Archer and Lambert... The best I can figure is that the whole story is that Archer came, when he returned, he came out to kill Dan Lambert. Yes. But Lambert convinced him, why would you kill me when the champion is right here? This makes sense. And Archer was like, God damn, this guy's right. And he lays out, beats up Hangman, Archer, uh, Dan Lambert helps. And Archer's like, well, you know, this guy had a good idea. But why? Sure. I don't have any idea why from there. Why would That's Lambert, the best since I then, can figure. Since then, why has Lambert been involved at all? Well, I don't know. Maybe don't he's, uh, maybe... I mean, you could argue he's there to do the talking with us. So Jake is there for So no, I, I don't know. That part of it sucks, but the match was great, so who cares? Um, so uh, Lambert is the one who took the top rope down. That becomes very important. Um, <laughs> you see, there's blood everywhere. It was funny because uh, when they went to commercial, it was the moment where Paige, Paige was whipping his ass. And was going to hit his finish, but then he realized, there's no top rope now. I can't do the buckshot. So we go from there to commercial. We come back. Now Paige is a bloody pulp. And Lance Archer is about to do the blackout off the apron through two tables. <laughs> I felt like we missed an entire match. So, And, and before any of this point, point this out, no, not all of it was shown on picture in picture. So they keep fighting. Jake hits the lariat on uh, Hangman. He's going to do the DDT, but Archer breaks it up because he wants to kill him first, and Jake is so sad. He was going to hit his first DDT in all elite wrestling on the world heavyweight champion, and his guy wouldn't let him do it. And, and then Paige hit the DDT then, on Archer, yes. and then flipped off, and then Jake, I think, flipped him off. Like, ah, fuck you, you stole my move. It was perfect. People it was, laughed. They should have. It was funny. Yes, it was good. Yes. So... They get in the ring, and Paige is unloading with stick shots, and finally Lance Archer's had enough, and he grabs the stick out of Paige's hands. He breaks it over his knee, and he hit a choke slam that may have been higher than the beal that Keith Lee hit Isaiah Cassidy with. <laughs> he choke slammed he chokeslammed Paige through the cosmos, man. Just got him way up in the sky and brought him down on top of a trash can. There's a fork there. <laughs> they found a chair that, as far as I could tell, Wait, don't gloss over this fucking fork, dude. All right, he, he starts him. forking him like he's Abdul mm-hmm. the Butcher. That's exactly. What and he... then he starts eating with the blood off this fucking fork. It was straight Abdullah spots. Gah. Yes. Yeah. Gross. I wouldn't do that. But the barbed wire chair, I have seen barbed wire chairs before in wrestling, but it's usually they take a chair and then wrap barbed wire around it. And then, you know, it's tight. It's wired. It's metal, so it'll stay there. That's fine. That's not what this was. They took a chair and a spool of barbed wire... And as far as I could tell, a hot glue gun. And it's glued the barbed wire onto the front of this chair. It was ridiculous, but it did play in the finish later. So they keep fighting. Lance turns the stairs on their side and does a blackout from the apron onto the side of those stairs. That looked so unhealthy. I'm going over my notes here. I wrote the words Jesus Christ over and over again. So finally, Hangman takes that barbed wire that had been glued to the chair, yanks it off, wraps it around his arm, and hits one lariat, and now he's on one side of the ring, Lance is on the other side of the ring by the tables, and the ref is between them, and the ref has bent over, I think he's picking up the bar wire, picking up the chair or something, but he's in the perfect position, and Hangman pounces, flips over his back, uses the ref to do the buckshot, hits the big lariat, Lance goes back through, through two tables, he gets counted out, Hangman wins, they beat Archer without pinning him, but that's okay, it was his challenge, it was his match, so it's not like he, these, they, they chipped the or they uh, cheated him either, just an insane brawl, an insane garbage brawl in a good way. And uh, I loved it very much, and it capped off a hell of an episode of Dynamite. Dude, that finish was so awesome because 
A, they took off the top rope, and so he had to use a referee for the buckshot. But because there was no top rope, that's how they tumbled so easily to the outside to go through those two tables. So the vault, the buckshot, flying to the outside through both those tables, and they did the dramatic count like they were both going to be counted out. But Hangman got up at 8. Larcher did not. Hangman wins. I mean, this match was just... It was the best Archer match he's had in all of AEW. Yep. Made Hangman look like... Remember all that talk that people were going, oh, well, we can't have Archer lay out the Hangman. He'll look weak. It was exactly as I said. You could have laid that fucker out for 10 straight shows. He was going to have this match, beat this guy with a vaulting fucking buckshot through two tables, and he came out of this like a fucking hero and a world champion. So I thought this match warrior. was great. Yes. Yeah, bleeding all over the place. This was this did wonders for both of these guys. And then afterwards, Adam Cole comes to ringside, and it was very low key. He just presented the belt to Paige, put it on her shoulder, and patted it as if to say, "I'm coming for this." And that was that. This one wins the voting. Yeah, I haven't even reviewed NXT yet, but I'm not changing my mind. No. And I actually kind of liked NXT this week, but it was it was nowhere. You know what it was compared to this show right here? Shit. It was a .43 to a zero point zero seven. All That's right, what I'll, it was. I'll take that. Favorite quote from The Simpsons. Can you do an impression? Sure. Okay, so uh, Bart was doing some road cleanup, and he said, Hey, Krusty, what are you doing here? And Krusty says, uh, It's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. <laughs> that was a very good impression, Craig. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.